Hi guys and welcome back to another video now today what I'm going to be bringing you is a Barrow vs Bradford City match vlog now just before we get into today's video if you could drop a like on it 50 likes would be massively appreciated subscribe if you are new as well we're now on the road to 4200 subscribers so good help me get on the road to there that would be massively appreciated apologies for no match preview yesterday I was going to film it Friday morning but um, some guy came in with like fitting all the doors downstairs so I genuinely did not have time because well my, my office was just it was, it was in a lot of use, so I couldn't do that. So apologies for that, but match previews will be returning next week because um, we've obviously got two games next week. We've got Southend on Tuesday, I know that. Um, team news is going to be in about 10 minutes. We know Reece Thornton is going to be back in the side, which is massive, massive news. You know, we need some calmness back in the back line because we've been all over the place the past couple of weeks. it be interesting to see which plays he drops because obviously I didn't get iFollow on Tuesday but apparently we were really, really poor and um, a lot of fans were not happy but Stuart McCall and Kenny Black they seem to be happy with the performance so it'll be interesting to see how we play today. My score prediction today, I'm going to go with a 2-1 to Barrow. I'm not confident at all going into it. Um, I think... I only, well, I only know one Barrow player, and that's, I think his name's Harrison Biggins. I think he's on loan from Fleetwood. So I'll go with him to get a brace. And then for Bradford, I think it will be Austin Samuels to get the goal. I have no idea. I think Novak's still injured, which is pretty disappointing. The Gareth Evans, I'm not too sure if he'll be fit, but I think Sutton's back, which is good. Um, but yeah, let's get on to see what team news is going to be. Right then, team news is now out. Three changes from the game against Bolton. Sutton, Staunton and Samuels are all in. No Evans in the squad. The team is O'Donnell in net. Antonio Connor, Paldi O'Connor and Reece Staunton in the back three. Hassan, a cousin Dawson, Sutton and Wood in the midfield. Callum Cook in the number 10 role. And you've got Austin Samuels and Clayton Donaldson up front. Leaving on the bench, Richard Evans. Elliot Watt being dropped down to the bench, which I think is a massive call from Stuart McCall. Harry Pritchard, Billy Clark, Motley Henry, Tyra French and uh, Sam Hornby. It's an interesting team glad to see cousin Dawson still back in the midfield you know it'll be my first time actually watching him play so congrats to him on his second league start it's very defensive though you know you've got six defenders on there a defensive midfielder in Sutton a box box midfielder in Cook and then two strikers it's very defensive and against Barrow if you don't really want to be playing defensive you know they've only just come up from the National League but hopefully we can they can prove me wrong hopefully we can get a win today but I've seen a lot of people having problems with I follow so if, we, if, if we're having problems and then we lose, at least we'll get a refund. Well, uh, you can't really see it on camera, but um, yeah, we've got the, the buffering circle of death, so iFollow doesn't seem to be working again. Former Bantam Chris Taylor, who played for us last season, as you were just seen there, he's on the bench today for Barrow. That's the team for Bradford. Hopefully we can pick up our first three points in ages. It feels like forever since we last won the game, and that were against Mansfield a couple of weeks ago. It feels like so long ago. And there we have it then, we're underway for the first half. Come on, see. It's quite clear to see, even only four minutes into the game, the wind is going to play a massive part into this game. It looks like for the first half, it's going to be going against us. But it's similar conditions to how we played against Forest Green. It's going to be difficult, but um, yeah, the weather seems to be having a massive, massive impact on this game so far. I have no idea what's going on with iFollow, but we've just got the same image playing over and over. What on earth is this? Barrow have the ball on this right hand side now, Reece Thornton gives the ball to number 4, back to 27 into 20 in the box here oh, I follows Frozen it's gone here on the left hand side, he's been allowed to have a free shot and it's 1-0 Barrow he's been allowed a free shot in the box, it's number 2 awful defending once again, I bet you can't guess what I'm going to say where is the marking? There's no pressure. He's been allowed a free shot inside of our box. What on earth is that defending? Why can we not defend? It seems impossible for us to defend. I genuinely don't know what's going on. Like, where, where is his pressure there? There's about five players around him and no one's wanting to put a tackle in. And Barrow take the lead. Dreadful defending, absolutely dreadful. We've offered absolutely nothing this game. We've been so poor. Reece Staunton on the ball. Goes down the line here to Connor Wood. Who goes inside to Cousin Dawson. He tries to go past his man. Gets taken down, but the referee doesn't give anything. And Barrow clear. Just under 25 minutes gone here. Very, very poor start so far. And a lot of fans on Twitter are saying McCall out. I've not been McCall out so far, but we just don't seem to be improving. No matter what, we just don't seem to be improving. 
free kick for Barrow on the right hand side for them, on the left hand side for it. It's going to be number eight to take it. It's about 30 yards out, I'd probably say, towards the right hand side. Floats it in. Free header over the bar. Barrow have a corner after their play, blatantly kicked it out. Number eight drills it into the back post over everybody though. Levi Sutton will win that, back in a team today, and he earns a throw in. To add a little bit of insult to injury, Levi Sutton's now just been sent off a straight red card. He lost the ball in the midfield and he's dived in, he's won the ball. Let me see if this is a red, he loses the ball. He dives in, two footed, one's like nearly a knee height. Oh. For a goal down, for a man down, just as the commentator said there, we're now down to 10 men. We know he's the only player who really, you know, wants to get stuck in and puts tackles in and sometimes that sort of stuff happens and that's really not what you want to see. Levi Sutton sent off, so we're now going to play the next probably 70 minutes with 10 men. Very, very poor that from Levi Sutton. I don't know what he's thinking. Why would you dive in there when we're 1-0 down? Yeah, I get it, he wants to win the ball back, but the last thing we need is a red card. Half time then, Barrow won, Bradford nil. We're down to 10 men. I can't even be bothered doing some half time analysis. It's just absolutely dreadful. I, I won't be buying eye follow for the foreseeable future. We have had 35% of the ball against Barrow. 35%. We've conceded eight shots in the first half to Barrow. No disrespect to Barrow, but considering Stuart McCall, what he said in midweek of where we want to be at the end of the season, and considering Barrow have just come up from the National League, it's not good enough. What is the purpose of that? What I, you, you've got no hair, mate. What, what, like, who are you making the mug of there? Anyway, Barrow gets underway for the second half, very unfortunately so. Substitution for the Bantams, Dylan Motley Henry will be coming on for Austin Samuels, so I assume we're going to change system. But we're losing, so we're taking off a striker, and we're bringing on a winger. It makes no sense to me, if we're putting Dylan Motley Henry as a striker, why are we not bringing on Billy Clark? McCall's substitutions are so questionable. Barrow on the counter-attack here, 20 has gone past Cousin Dawson, takes a shot on, it's a good save by Richard O'Donnell though. The left leg stuck out from O'Donnell, it's had a good save. Former Bradford player Chris Taylor will now enter the pitch for Barrow. 18 minutes to go, we're also going to make a change. I believe it's Elliot Watt who's going to be coming on. I would have presumed it will be for Cousin Dawson, it will be. Because he's just picked up a yellow card. He's had a pretty decent game to be fair as Cousin Dawson. But I don't really understand why Elliot Watt got dropped in the first place. Yeah, he did make a mistake against Bolton, that cost us the goal. But there's 17 minutes plus added time to go. We've offered nothing in the second half, it's just been so poor. Chris Taylor has it on the far side in the corner. Floats the ball into the box to the back post. Masana will temporarily deal with it, but it's poor header away. And Barrow will run that out for a throw in. About two and a half minutes left here. It's just been so poor. There's going to be five minutes added on at the end of the game here, and very unfortunately so. We're going to have to put up with this useless team for another five more minutes. I genuinely cannot be bothered watching a single game for the rest of the season because it's it's genuinely dreadful. Barrow have been there for a taking. Apart from the goal, they've not really offered anything. And we've been so bad. They can't string three passes together, but we can't even string one pass together. It's genuinely dreadful. Ten seconds to go and there's no chance we're going to get a goal here. So that's where I'm going to leave today's video. Another absolutely dreadful performance. I don't know what, what needs to change, but something needs to change pretty much every Bradford fan I think at this stage is unfortunately my call out and as much as it pains me to say it if it means better of the football club if it means we're going to start winning games then it's got to be done but it's just like you sack him you who then who do you bring in obviously I know Paul Cook the Cowley brothers they're all without a club at the moment but will they want to come to League 2 you know the squad that we've got it's quite clearly not capable of doing anything in this division as full-time whistleblowers there. It'll be interesting to see what McCall has to say after this game because it's another it's another very, very dreadful uh, performance. It's three defeats in a row. We've got, if we don't beat Southend on Tuesday, and it, well, if McCall's still in a job by Tuesday, and if we don't beat Southend, who have been the worst side I think I've ever seen play, professional football if we don't beat them on Tuesday then I think I think that all but confirms that he has to go another disappointing result 
you know, we should be beating teams like Barrow, no disrespect to Barrow, but that's where I'm going to leave today's video. If you could leave a like on it, if you've somehow managed to enjoy this video, 50 likes would be massively appreciated. Subscribe if you're new as well. But yeah, something needs to change and it needs to change quick. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.